Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Shahri Arshad and it's my first video tutorial for the bony features of the hip bone which is also known as oscogse or innominate bone. Uh, firstly, this bone is the major bone of the term of, of pelvis and the term pelvis is loosely used to describe the region between the trunk and the lower limb. I.e. the pelvis includes um, the two hip bones of the right and the left side, a sacrum and coccyx. Um, this bone is actually a fusion of three little bones, which is the first one is the ilium, the anterior inferior pubis, the posterior inferior ischium, um, and they fuse at the acetabulum this is acetabulum it has uh, an acetabular foramen the lunate surface the smooth lunate surface of acetabulum and this is the acetabular fossa now starting with uh, the parts of the pelvis there are actually two parts of pelvis the greater pelvis and the lesser pelvis the greater pelvis is also known as um, the false or superior pelvis, while the lesser pelvis is known as the true or inferior pelvis. The greater pelvis is continuous with the abdominal cavity, while the lesser pelvis forms the pelvic cavity. Um, now, uh, the hip bone forms two joints. First with the sacrum, that is known as the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint. And the other one is pubic symphysis when two hip bones meet at the symphysial surface of the body of the pubis. The junction between the pubic parts of two hip bones uh, that meet anteriorly is known as the pubic symphysis. Um, the three parts of this bone, the first is acetabulum, uh, sorry, the first is ilium, which is, which is wing-shaped flat bone, also known as flank. Um, the ischium and the pubis. Now, first of all, the first and the foremost thing is side determination. So how do we determine side? Uh, the acetabulum is always directed laterally. Um, the flat expanded ilium forms the upper part of the bone that lies above the acetabulum. The obturator foramen lies below the acetabulum. It is bounded anteriorly by thin pubis and posteriorly by thick and strong ischium. Um, so uh, when you have to determine the side, uh, these greater, greater notches are always on the posterior side and this is the interior side and you have to hold it like this between your uh, index finger and the thumb and hold, this is the side, left side bone. Now the anatomical position, the pubic symphysis and anterior superior iliac spine lie in the same coronal plane. That is, when you place it here, this this whole this is consider this the coronal plane that is also known as the anteroposterior plane. This should meet like this. So, this should be in the same plane. These anterior superior iliac spine and um, sorry crest. and the pubic crest this is the pubic crest lies in the same plane the pelvic surface of the body this is the pelvic surface of the body of the pubis is directed backwards and upwards and the third point is the symphysial surface or the medial surface of the body of the pubis uh, lies in the median plane so it would be like this. Now coming to the superior part, superior bony part, that is the ilium or flank. This is a flat wing-shaped uh, part of the bone, hip bone. Uh, ilium is thinner at the center than extremities, it is thinner at the center than at, than at the extremities. 
the uh, uh, the ilium forms two fifth of the acetabulum. It forms two fifth of the acetabulum. Now the most important feature of this bone is the arcuate line. Most of us confuse the arcuate line, uh, the medial border of the the medial border of the ilium, and the pectineal line, which is also known as pectin pubis and the pubic crest. Actually, uh, the arcuate line, the arcuate line extends from here till the iliopubic eminence here. Iliopubic eminence here. So this is the arcuate line. That this is the iliac part of the arcuate line. It the arcuate line has two parts. Uh, the the iliac part and the pubic part. The iliac part is extends from here till here, and the pubic part, which includes the the pubic, uh, which includes the pectineal line or pectin pubis, which is the spear border of the ramus of the pubis, uh, and the pubic crest. All of this, whole of this, is formed by the arcuate line. This is the iliopubic eminence, which is actually a spear part. Um, uh, at the junction of these two bones, the ilium and the pubis. Now, um, this bone, this ilium has three parts, an upper end which is called the iliac crest, a lower end which is smaller and is fused with the pubis and the ischium at the acetabulum, the ilium forms the upper two fifths of the acetabulum, three borders. It has it has three borders: the anterior border, the posterior border, and the medial border. Three surfaces. The usually usually we classify it uh, into two surfaces, but some books do say uh, there are three surfaces. Like uh, I I'd rather take uh, it as um, the ilium has two surfaces: the inner or outer. The inner can also be called as medial since it points towards the medial plane. Uh, is also known as the lateral, the pelvic, the gluteal, and the Sacral, iliac. Pubic, so, the three borders explaining the iliac crest first. The iliac crest is a broad convex ridge forming the upper end of the ilium. Uh, it can be it can be palpated in the living uh, at the lower limit of the flank limit of the flank. So it is convex upwards, while in the anterior posterior plane, it is concave inwards in front. It forms this S shaped S shaped surface, this uh, sorry S shaped uh, bony part, which is convex concave inwards in front and convex outwards, convex outwards behind. This is morphologically, this iliac crest is divided into two parts, the, and the ventral segment, which forms uh, more than two thirds, and the dorsal segment, which forms less than one third of the total iliac crest. The basic, the major feature of the ventral segment is this iliac tubercle, which lies five centimeter behind the anterior superior iliac spine, while the dorsal segment has this iliac tuberosity, which lies just just in front of the posterior superior iliac spine. This is uh, the anterior border. Now we coming on the anterior border. The anterior border has an anterior superior iliac spine. You can see here as well. The anterior superior iliac spine. Then comes this notch, and here's anterior inferior iliac spine uh, now there's no notch here rather there's a flat um, a triangular thickened area which is not a notch below anterior inferior iliac spine so it extends from the from ASIS till the acetabulum now coming on the posterior border the posterior border extends from the posterior superior iliac spine here comes a very minor notch and then the posterior inferior iliac spine 
And here's 